Good day, I'm Tom Jefferson Avalos, a third year student taking Bachelor of Secondary Education, majoring in Mathematics at Cebu Technological University, the now campus. And today, I'm going to show you my teaching demonstration for Grade 11 Mathematics. Good morning, class. Please stand up for the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. You may now take your seats. For the checking of attendance, let me call in uh, column one. Is everybody present? Good. How about column two? Great. And the last column, column three? Very good. So everybody is present for today. Today is the beginning of our second quarter. But to review, what was our topic last week? Yes, Charmaine, you're raising your hand. Very good. Our topic last week is all about logarithmic functions. But since we're done with it, let us now move on to the next topic, our lesson. But before I will reveal to you what that lesson is, always be reminded that first, to always listen when someone is talking in front. Second, raise your hand if you want to talk. And lastly, always do your best. This time, we're going to have an activity, a game, and it is called Guess the Word. So I'm going to show you four pictures that are related to each other. And those pictures that are linked with one another is the clue to what our lesson for today is. Okay? Good. Now, here are the four pictures. Yes, Nico. You're raising your hand. Courtship? No, but you can think of another idea. How about Marie? Passion. You're almost there, but still a no. Ah, uh, yes, Alex. Finance. You almost hit the spot, but uh, still no. How about you, Luke? You're raising your hand. Interest. Very good. Interest is the answer. So simply, interest is our lesson for today. And before we talk about more about interest, let me just discuss to you what are our intended learning outcomes for this lesson. First, define the preliminary related terms to simple and compound interest. Second, differentiate between simple and compound interest. Third, show importance of having the right decision in spending or using money. And lastly, show accountability in borrowing things from other people. As you can see from the pictures, they show interest when it comes to money, interest into passion, interest when it comes to person or love, and interest when it comes to hobby. And in English, interest is the urge or wanting to know and learn about something or someone. In mathematics, interest involves money. It is the additional money that must be repaid in addition to the original loan or deposit. So to know more about interest, let us define or know what are the preliminary terms that are related to it. And to make it more exciting, we'll have an activity called Jumbled Words. So I'm going to group you into five, starting with group one, two, three, four, and five. So here's the instruction. You will be assigned with jumbled words in which you're going to arrange it. And alongside with it, you're given the corresponding definition in which you think the, is the best pair for those jumbled words, okay? And you're only given five minutes to think and cooperate with your group. After the allocated time, you're going to present your answer and let's see if those answers are correct. Five minutes later. Group one's jumbled words are and their answer as they arrange it 
this principal amount and their definition corresponding to it is this. And group one's answer is correct. Very good. The answer is principal amount, in which principal amount is defined as the original amount of money, the amount before any interest is applied, and the original sum of money being borrowed from a loan balance or put into an investment. For example, I will borrow 100 pesos from you. And that 100 pesos alone, no less, no more, is the principal amount itself. So for that, very good, group one. Now let's uh, group two's work. Here are their jumbled words, and this is how they arrange it. And here's their corresponding definition to the given. So interest rate, is that correct? Yes, it is. The answer for number two, corresponding to group two, is interest rate. And the definition is correct. Interest rate is the percentage of principal charged by the lender for the use of its money. It is expressed as percentage per year or annum. For example, 5%, 10%. And those percentage, those interest rates depends upon the agreement of the person, the company, or the policy that you are dealing with. And for that, very good, group two. This time, let's have group three. Their jumbled words are their answer being arranged and their definition for it. Accumulated interest, is that correct? Yes, they are correct, as well as their definition. Now, accumulated interest is the amount of all interest over a period of time. For example, in a span or period of 10 years, in one year, na hai, 100 pesos na interest. So, 10 times 100, so 1,000. That means you have 1,000 pesos interest over the given 10 year period. And for that, good work, group three. Now let's have group four. Here are the jumbled words, the arranged answer, and their definition. Of course, that is correct. Simple interest. Simple interest is a way of calculating the amount of interest to be paid on the principal. For example, you borrow 100 pesos, so that is the principal, and the interest is 150. So, in adding so, you have 250 as the simple interest. Simple being plain, and if given the period, which is one year or 12 months, so you're just going to pay in January 250, in February 250, up until you complete or you fully finish in paying those amounts. And for that, very good, group four. The last but not the least, group five. Here are their jumbled words, their arranged answer, and the definition. Once again, it's correct. Compound interest. Compound interest is the addition of interest to the principal amount of a loan or deposit. 